Let's have a look at question one of chapter four in this video. So we have a company that charges two euros per kilo for the first 10 kilos of seeds that we buy. And after we buy those 10 kilos, so let me just circle what matters. So two euros per kilo for the first 10 kilos that we buy, and then one euro per kilo for the remaining quantity. If we have a hundred euros per week, so we have a hundred euros per week, what's gonna be our budget constraint for the composite good and these seeds, composite good. Now, what is meant by composite good? We usually mean all the rest. So all the remaining good that we can consume besides seeds. And usually we set it at a price of one. So let's try the data. We have money of 100 euros. The price of the composite good would be one euro. And let's put the price of the comp let's put the, the composite good on the y axis because it's literally usually denoted by y. So that would be the quantity of y. And here we will have the seeds. So we will have quantity of seeds. Now, remember that the intercepts are going to show how much we can consume if we spend money only on that good. Well, if we would spend 100 euros on the composite, which costs one euro, so this is one euro, then at most, QY would be equal to 100. So the intercept here is 100. Now let's not rush to draw the slope. Let's just have a look a bit. First 10 kilos we buy for two euros. So two times 10 is gonna give us 20 euros we spend on the first 10 kilos of seeds. So when quantity of seeds is equal to 10, we spend 20 euros. Okay. Now, after we spend 20 euros, how much do we have left on the composite good? Well, out of 100, out of 100 in total, if we spend 20, we're left with 80 euros to, to, to keep spending. So for the first 10 kilos, let me put it over here like that. We know that after we spend on them, we are left with 80 euros in our pocket. So that would be something like that. This is the point which means this would be the first part of our budget line. And let's say we want to know the intercept on this axis. Remember, this would be the intercept if we keep spending money on seeds only. So far we spent 20 euros for 10 kilos, but what if we spend now the remaining 80 euros also on seeds so that we know how much maximum seeds we can buy. Well, now the quantity, sorry, now the price of seeds is going to be just one euro because we already bought 10 kilos. So 80 euros left divided by one euro per kilo, then we would be able to buy 80 kilos of seeds. So 80 more, meaning that 10 plus 80 more is going to give us to a maximum, to a maximum uh, quantity of 90. So the difference after that is this 80 that we can still buy. Now let's connect the, the line. The rest, the rest is just drawing. We have the intercept, we can draw it. We have here this slope until this point. And from here we go like that. And that would be it. So until here we have a slope of two because we trade off uh, one kilo of seeds for uh, two kilos of the composite good, remember? Because if we spend two euros of one kilo of seeds, we're not spending two euros on the composite good. And here the slope becomes negative one because the trade-off is, is the same. One kilo of seeds costs one euro, one kilo of the composite also costs one euro. So the trade-off is one to one. My, my, my slopes are not, are not very good because they're almost like the same. It's like a straight line, but it should be that this one is steeper and the other one is slightly flatter. So here a slope of minus two and here a slope of minus one. Hope this makes sense. We are done.